let's go. Hello lovelies, I am popping into this vlog sometime later because I just finished doing the first edits and it just kind of felt like there were some parts that needed a bit more context, so I will be popping into the vlog here and there every now and again. With that, let's continue and I hope you enjoy the vlog. Okay, I'm ready to, look at my scarf. I'm ready to set off. Um, my friend Lisa made me this for Christmas, isn't it cute? Ready to set off. I had like a whole cute little like travel outfit plan. I had it all set out, like ready for this morning. But it's so cold and so rainy and so crap that I was like, I don't know, like, there's, there's no point. I'm just gonna wear something like warmer because what I had planned was not warm. Nothing I have planned for this weekend is warm and it's gonna be crap weather the whole weekend. So can't wait to suffer. I'm gonna head off. I am meeting Lisa and Michaela at the airport. We were getting there way earlier than we need to because of that one time that I missed my, my flight and everything was terrible. So, seat heaters on, steering wheel heater on. I also made like a playlist that just shuffles pretty much all of my playlists. Um, so my music is chaos now and I kind of love it because I never know what's gonna pop up. This is a song. Uh -huh. I'll keep my jack o' lantern light on for everyone tonight. I I'm gonna turn that oh, down a little bit. Come on, let's break it. What? Ah, your I your car is too small for me to hold my camera up to vlog. <laughs> you and your sporty cars. Shut up, my sporty car. <laughs> my sporty cars are these are just jealous. <laughs> um yeah, we are on the way to the airport now. Um I'm with my mum and Sunny. And for some reason my mum is the one panicking and getting anxious and I'm like, you're not the one traveling. <laughs> We've been at the airport for a while. Um, it's boarding now, but none of us can. Oh no, oh no, oh no. If this is not yet displayed, please follow the purple signs. <laughs> Whoa! It is the next day. So once we got back to the Airbnb, we all just kind of collapsed because it took us like, our flight was at half 12. We didn't get to the Airbnb until after four. So we were all kind of wrecked. But uh, we got here, collapsed for a little bit, went out, got food at like this really nice little place that did like bowls of stuff. And yeah, it was all pretty good. And then we just went on a little adventure looking for like a Tesco or something to pick up the things we forgot to bring. And now it's the next morning and it's time to get ready. I am going to go see spiders today at the zoo. And then are you and Michaela going to Camden? Probably. Cool. <laughs> I'm gonna see like what we're gonna do, but it's like Camden was the plan. I'm gonna see yeah. where the day takes us. Sounds good. So yeah, we're splitting up for a little bit and then meeting up again, coming back here, getting ready for Monster Queen, and it's all go. So very exciting and I will catch up. I don't know if I'm going to record at the spiders. I think I'm definitely going to try to record a TikTok or something. I don't know if I'm going to vlog at the same time. We'll see. But I will catch up with you in a while. But Lisa's helping with me with my hair and I wish that she could move into my house and do this for me every time I wash my hair because she's better at it than I am. <laughs> this is Simba. My friend. It means no worries. Doing a little Instagram post with the spiders. Sporter. Well, Michaela, I... you're meant to fork me, not whisk me. I'm whisking you away. 
Ow. How about spooning you? It does hurt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I don't know if it'll work because it's a plastic one, not a metal one. <laughs> but we'll see. Ow. Stop bitching. You did this to yourself, you know? I like, did oh, not. actually, no, we can blame you as well. <laughs> <laughs> Like, it won't make a difference, like, right away, but in, like, 10, 15 minutes. This feels like it's going to make it worse. It so, yeah, it was a little bit of a messy night. <laughs> I think this picture that the Monster Queen tagged me on Instagram kind of sums it up. Thankfully, I think the um, most incriminating parts of the night were not recorded, to my knowledge, so that is good. <laughs> Clearly, I had an excellent time. I was definitely sloppy drunk. I do remember whenever we got back to the Airbnb, our Airbnb was on like the fourth or fifth floor or something. There was like a lot of stairs involved. And uh, I remember basically just Michaela behind me, basically underneath me coming up these stairs, just pushing me up while I was like flopped over backwards, just laughing. That she was just shoving me up the stairs and I was just like, ha ha. And then there are these pictures of Michaela taking my makeup off for me at the end of the night because she's an angel. So yeah, that's, that's a little bit of how that went. If you would like to be part of that sort of madness, although I have to say I'm gonna tone it down a little bit this time, Monster Queen is happening this Saturday, if you're watching this as this goes out. Saturday, the 20th of May. If you want to be put on my guest list, I usually do it on Instagram, but if you don't have Instagram and you want to be put on the guest list to come to Monster Queen this weekend, it's £10 entry if you have my guest list. It's more than that without it. Leave a comment down below. Make sure the comment says Monster Queen guest list and then your full name and I will pop you on the guest list and we can have a silly fun time together. <laughs> The next day we got going pretty late. Um, I was very, very hungover. I don't often get hangovers, but I was hungover this day. So it took us a little while to get up and ready and heading out. But we did eventually, and we went for a little adventure into Camden. Pretty much everyone I was with had never been to Cyberdog before, so everyone wanted to go to Cyberdog. Very hungover me did not want to be <laughs> in very warm, loud, flashy light Cyberdog. So I think I only survived maybe 10 or 20 minutes, and then I went up and just kind of waited in Camden for everyone else to finish because it was, it was a lot. <laughs> but it was very nice, very fun. We had a little wander around Camden, saw some different things. On the way home, we saw a cat. And then I spoke to my friend Spooks and he said he was at a gig in a really cool bar called Helgi's. And we all eventually decided to go. We were all really tired and still quite hungover. So I feel like there was a long period of us just like sitting in the Airbnb like, Huh, trying to decide like if we had the energy to go out again, but it was a Saturday night in London I don't think I wanted to waste the night So everyone except for Michaela headed out because she had some work to do so she had to stay behind She was very responsible uh, The rest of us eventually headed out But it did take us so long <laughs> to like get to that point of like we are ready that by the time we got there There was only 20 minutes left of the gig so we didn't end up seeing the band But we stayed in the bar. It was really cool. It was packed though like definitely set off my social anxiety a little bit. I walked in, there were just so many people, and I was like, huh! Ah! But it was such a cool little bar. I haven't been back since, and I really want to go again. And we met up with Spooks once the gig was over, and we just sat and chatted and drank and had a nice night, and eventually headed back to the Airbnb and passed the fuck out. The next day, we headed out again. This time we went to Soho and Chinatown. We met up with some people, and we all went for food at this really nice, I think it was like a dim sum place. I can't remember the name, but it was so, so good. Very much enjoyed it. Um, I'm gonna put it to this, uh... Ooh, fun. Uh, Belfast, or where is everyone from? So, but then I read up about it, and all they do is like, they just like smudge the stuff on your skin and put a plaster on it for like two days. I need to get in. Like, yeah, like, we should watch more like, There's like a 10 minute skip. There's like no, no fucking ring bar, or there's like something going on. Someone tries to jump someone up. I had it when I was in the space of like five days. I think I walked like 96 kilometers or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yay. <laughs> Hello! We had, I've been terrible at vlogging this entire weekend. Thankfully my friends are much more on the ball than I am. I don't really know how I'm going to edit this. I feel like I'm going to have to do a voiceover. But we are at Brick Lane now, which is like supposed to be sort of like the new Camden from what I've been told. Um, and I realize I actually have been here before. I didn't like, I didn't recognize the name. 
the battery on this is dead again. I hate this camera so much. <laughs> the three corn computers? But it's so hot. Probably, yeah. The three most corn tears. Spontaneous, yes. Third time's a charm. Does it live up to your expectations? It's hot. It's good. Big magic trick. <laughs> Oh my god, it reminds me of that one meme with the, the little kid that's like trying to eat that food. Was thinking like... Corn dog! We had a little wander around some of the shops, had a very very nice time, and then we headed off to the last Tuesday Society. My friend Sid came with us and he brought me like this bracelet from like a shop that we had just discovered the day before that we like fell in love with. It was such a weird coincidence. We went into the shop that we saw in Camden, fell in love with absolutely everything in there. It's called Nowhere Designs. Um, we were all just obsessing over absolutely everything. And then just by complete chance the next day we met up with Sid and Sid had actually brought me like a little like bracelet cuff thing from that brand and I was like, ah! Which was so sweet and so nice. I just thought it was so lovely. I was, I'm, I'm gonna be, I'm getting changed after this for like a different video and I'm gonna be like, it's part of my outfit pile for that outfit. But yeah, that was just like really cute. So we all went to the last Tuesday Society. No one else had been before and I was so excited to show everyone. I've been so many times, but I'm always up for going because I just really, really enjoy it. And you all see something new. So that's what we did. Oh, yeah, but you like that. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Okay, we'll share a big five. Oh, this is an option. Lisa, so what did you get? Oh, that's so nice. Oh, you can get them on Amazon. Yeah. Oh, it's really nice. Guys, what's safe? Ooh, I can smell them. Oh yeah, it's nice. It's refreshing. Yeah. yeah. Not that bad or good? No, yeah. in the sense of like how strong it is. Yeah, do you want to try the white one? Hmm? Do you want to try yes. the Yeah. It's like, it's similar, it's just like a bit lighter and fresher rather than like the really sort of strong anesthetic flavor I find. That's funny because this is the one I'm used to. Yeah, see that's the one I get yeah. every time I come here. So I was like this time I'll get like the wee white one that my friend got last time and it was mm -hmm. really nice. So. That's the green yeah, one. Yeah, I like the more like, Can I the famous Yeah, of course. Thing. It's a bit, yeah. It actually has a different color. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, green. Wait, can you hold it next to each other? Yeah, because it's the other green one. Yeah. Hold them next to each other. Oh! Yeah. Only we had orange and we can make the flag. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> it's actually really nice. It tastes like nice it. when you drink it this way because I'm like, yeah. I'm used to like drinking it from the bottle because it. <laughs> yeah, like the only options you usually get is either drink it straight or like if you go to a bar and ask for it, they'll just mix it with like lemonade and I'm like, oh. Well, the same. I can't say anything because I have no problem. Yeah, but like, you're yeah. 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 This one is the tougher one, right? Yeah. 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 But this is, this is actually dangerous because it's, it's way too easy to drink like this. Yeah, no, it's fucking strong. Yeah. Totally, yeah. And it's so funny because you sit here and you drink all the apples and then you have to get down that teeny tiny, very yeah. steep spiral staircase yeah. that's like. <laughs> <laughs> It's so funny because, like, hippo skulls are like the weirdest things ever. Yeah. <laughs> What? So David visited the museum on so and so and his biscuit and left this biscuit. He was very pleased to see a copy as one of his favorite books, the history and social intelligence on the potato and display. Something like this, like I think it's so cool. It's just like a chandelier. Yeah, just like bones. Or you wanting to get people's like teeth? Being like, please give me your teeth. I always want people's teeth. Start and like work our way through. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, because like like I said, I've come here so many times. And still. This feels like us just now. 
Was it Dandy? Dandy. It's, it's like a Dandy century kind of he used like pots. Of yeah, it's it's I it's kind of subculture. So. Question mark? <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll sleep in a broken bed. <laughs> <laughs> but of like human hair. I was really wanting to do it for a while because I also used to make like jewelry out of it and I was I collected a bunch of my own hair to try, but I was following like an actual Victorian instruction manual and there were no pictures and like obviously just the language was different back then, so I'm trying to read this not really I'm um, like what? <laughs> like, it just did not make sense to me, so I, I mean, couldn't figure it out. Good handful. Just a handful. There's a lot of that, is, uh, that can be monetized in here, to be honest. Down. Down. I need to go. Yeah, I'm just sitting there like... I need a moment with the dead human. With crab rape. <laughs> yeah. I need mean, to go to warm. I mean, we figured out that it isn't technically illegal, so... What? <laughs> Oh, the memories about indeed. bones? Are these nuns giving blowjobs? Yeah, hands to fall. <laughs> I know, I wish they were this like, right, I'm sick or out, and I understand. <laughs> Do you what? Or is it. Whoa! <laughs> That's not how nipples work. I don't, I don't know, I just, I expect it to be hard, but it's like. So you expect it's gonna like nipples? explode in my face in a minute, like whatever's <laughs> in there is just gonna like Booby shoot milk. into my eye. <laughs> Booby milk. Oh my god. That's not why. Right, like, that was like my. I thought they were gonna be hard, and then I just like sunk into them. Oh, it's no. like filled. <laughs> it's like filled with some sort of fluid. It's not. I would thought it was just rubber. That's yeah, the thing. No, like, like, like air. I know. Could, 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 like, it's, it's. It's. Like, I don't know how they were supposed to. Even if you touched them, but it's not like this. Yeah. Like, <laughs> something wrong with it. <laughs> I love how everyone is so obsessed with big boobs. <laughs> oh no, that's sticky. Oh no. Oh. Yesterday we saw two different ones. What oh. business has he got to do? Hello! I want to give him a little kiss so bad. Just do a Bluetooth kiss. I don't care, it'll be worth it. Look at him strutting. I know. Look at my bum 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 bum. So after a very long, very fun day out, we headed back, all crashed into the Airbnb, and had a lot of pizza. And I think I went to bed a little bit earlier than everyone else because I was wrecked. But yeah, it was a very, very fun day. We all had such a good time. It was like a few different friend groups all sort of coming together for the first time, and everyone just got along so well, and we had such a good time together. It was so nice. I still like really miss having that whole group together. It was so fun. I hope we can all do it again sometime soon. And then the next day, it was the day we were going home, but we had a bit of time before our flight, so we headed into Camden for a little while. You want to document the suffering? <laughs> Did it. Didn't even die. We all went back to nowhere, and I think everyone ended up getting something, because we were all just obsessed. We signed our names on the little chairs, and whenever I was in London last week there... Last week, I think so. Um, I went back to nowhere with my friend Kuro, and I managed to like I went and like looked for the chair and found all already and signed again. So I sent a picture to the group, and oh, I wish they could have been there, but it was very fun going again. We had some food, we wandered around a bit, and then eventually our group split up, and three very tired girlies dragged our butts back to Belfast. <laughs> My phone's gone. <laughs> Smooth. And that is the end of that particular vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry I had to like intercept like this, but it was just such a crazy weekend that I was not focused at all. Thankfully, my friends helped me with getting a lot of footage for this, so we were able to put something together. But yeah, I haven't been vlogging every trip to London recently, but I really wanted to vlog this one because I knew it would be like a really big fun one with a lot of friends. And I'm really glad I did because like, Obviously it's been a little while now since that trip because it just took me a while to sort out all this footage. And watching it back has been so nice. I'm just like, like all the little memories. I'm like, mm. so yeah, I'm really glad that I vlogged this. And I hope you enjoyed watching it. So I have a few other busy, busy things to do tonight. So I'm going to head on. But before I go, if you could check out my Patreon, that would be incredible. It is the best possible way to support this channel. It is what keeps me going. There is a Discord that you can join where you can talk to all of the other lovelies and I pop in as well. Also... Do you see what this is? Do you know what this is? In this bag is the Sebastian plush. I got 
the physical sample and so we're nearly ready to go. It hasn't been revealed anywhere yet, but my Patreon people are definitely going to get the first look at this. So if you want to be around for that and see it before everyone else does, definitely join Patreon. I just need to speak to the makeshift people and see what we're doing when we're launching all the rest, but soon, soon, all will be revealed. And I actually want to sort of rework my whole Patreon soon and try to like add some extra stuff to it, but that's a problem for another day. But yes, if you'd like to join the Discord, be part of the little community, join Patreon. Link is down in the description, patreon.com forward slash toxic tears. Every one of you who joins, I get a little email about it and my heart does a little flutter and I'm so happy, so thank you. Please do leave a comment down below, let me know what you thought of this vlog, I hope you enjoyed it! And remember, if you would like to be put on my guest list for Monster Queen this weekend, leave Monster Queen guest list and your name and I will pop you on the list. If you're new here and you enjoyed this content and you would like to see more, first of all let me know if you'd like to see more of this down in the comment section below and also, of course, remember to subscribe and hit the notifications because YouTube has a terrible habit of hiding my videos and it's not cool. So yeah, if you want to keep up to date, subscribe, turn on notifications and honestly just check to the, back to the channel every now and again because it still might hide me, but we'll get there. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye lovelies!